what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to cover important reminders y'all might want to take care of before maintenance. I would also like to respect my viewers' precious time, so be sure to use the timestamp chapters in the video play bar, as well in the video description, to help you get the info you need from this video faster, back to your day. So this week there's going to be an ARCS record ranking going on for Central Redham Board Race. Now the way that you would find this information is if you hit your menu and then you go to Personal, and down here is ARCS records and Random Challenge Record tab. And here you can see the Central Redham Board Stage 1 solo. So you can go through here, even if you just participate in this one time, you can do terrible in it and you'll still get an Arch Record Badge reward of bronze. And if you do like really good on it, you can possibly get like silver, gold. Now, I would suggest going out there and doing these just because you can get a lot of rewards from like the, the exchange shop. The exchange shop, you can get weekly star gems as well as arms or Browner 2s. Sometimes they put like emotes, camos, and just various things in there. Who knows what all they'll update it with in the future too. So definitely go out there and at least do a run of it. Now the way that you would find this if you open your world map you can see it right here next to the oasis. And it's right here at this Ryuker right next to the oasis. And it's at this terminal right here is where you would start it at. Now something of note I also wanted to mention is you can actually do these arcs record rankings per ship. So if you have a character on each ship it's an individual reward and ranking per ship. So if you have characters on each ship, just go out there and do this uh, just one run and you'll get your, your Arch Record badges on each ship. And then you can go through and you can exchange for the Star Gems and stuff on other ships while you use the badges on your main ship for the stuff that you really want, like your camos or your Arms Runner 2 and stuff like that. So something else that's going to be ending with the maintenance is the current limited time quest. It's extremely good, the Fortress in the Forest. I made a video going over this the other day. You should see a link to it up in the top right if you want to check it out. But uh, basically this quest right now has a ton of boost going on. There's like a lot of drop rate boost going. There's a lot of fixed increase going as well as seasonal points. And uh, after maintenance, we're going to be getting a new seasonal quest. Uh, it's going to be another one of those quiz ones, which I had a lot of fun with that last time. So it should be pretty cool seeing the new one come up. So just a quick little mention, I did want to bring up that there is an Arms Refiner 2 that you can get really easy just by doing a couple of tasks here for the weekly. So just a little heads up, make sure you go out here and just hit this. All you have to do is just defeat two seasonal bosses per region in the Alio sector. So Mount Magus, Manfred Laboratory Ruins, and as well Resident Forest, if you just defeat two bosses in each, in each section. So I wanted to mention that the Ghost in the Shell AC Scratch collab is going to be coming to an end. So if there's any items in here that you want to get, it's going to be your last chance to get some of these. There's actually some really fantastic stuff in here too. So if you have been scratching on this, uh, make sure that you use your select tickets that you have so you can pick any item that you want from the scratch. And as well, even if there's this stuff in here that you just want to buy from a Sutter or whatever, it's probably a good time to pick it up before it gets uh, really expensive again. Who knows if this collab will ever come back again, so a lot of these items in here will probably just raise in price higher and higher. Now, a couple of things to mention that I really liked was this Matoko's jacket outer, for example. You can see it looks really good. I need to pick one of these up, actually, before this is gone. But yeah, just a little heads up, this scratch is going to be coming to an end, so I would definitely suggest checking out everything in the listing. Make sure there's uh, stuff in here that if you want that you go pick it up before it's too late. So this part of the video, I think most of my viewers will know where the trades I'm about to mention are. So here is a checklist on the screen that you can pause to save yourself some time. This is weekly trades that you should be doing every week. I'm going to go to each location and showcase them some as usual for those of you that don't know where these trades are though. So you can see uh, right here we're in Central City. So the first shop on the left in Central City is going to be the Item Trader Travis. And you can go down here to Item Exchange and at the bottom is the In Augmentation Success Rate 10%. Now you can trade in 30 gold prim swords for three of these augmentation success rate boosters. These are really important because these help you augmenting your gear. It makes your augments pass easier, so it's really important to trade in for these. You can actually YOLO capsules one capsule at a time. That's something I tend to do. I have a lot of these stocked up. And then next we're going to mention the Arcs Record Badge Exchange. Now the Arcs Record Badge Exchange, you want to make sure that you trade in for your weekly star gems here, as well as the Arms Refiner 2 is something good to pick up. And then there's just other like various things in here too that the ARCs record badges are good for, but the weekly trade for the Star Gem is very important. And then next we'll mention Item Exchange Stia. Towards the middle of the listing in Item Exchange Stia, you can trade in for Arms Refiners, as well as ARC Belt Secret 4, which sells for a pretty good amount of Masetta on the player markets. And uh, you might want to consider these doable capsules too. I think these are all like pretty cheap now, but it's worth mentioning. You might want to price check them. If there's any other items in here that you're missing, of course, you know, it's always something to consider too that you could trade in for your Infernium. And then we also want to mention the Aegis Integra Exchange. Now the Aegis Integra Exchange is actually very important because down here at the bottom you can trade in for the Aegis Souls as well as all the Dominas. 
and these are used to make Half Finale, which is a very expensive endgame capsule. And then one more weekly trade that we can mention here is the Giga, Giga Strugma exchange here. You can actually, if you've been farming the gigantic enemies in the Alio region, then you're getting a hold of Giga Strugma. Then you can actually trade in for various camos here that sell for a lot of money on the player market, as well as some of these capsules and stuff. So this is all weekly trades here, just something to consider. So then leaving from here, we're going to go to the last shop on the right over here in Central City, and this is going to be the item enhancement shop. Now the item enhancement shop has some things down here to exchange enhancement materials and then other enhancement materials. So you can trade in for your gold prim sword too here. You can actually trade in for 10 of these a week, as well as the armor too. You can trade in for 10 of these a week too. It just takes grinders to trade in for. And these actually like have been selling pretty decently on the player markets too. So you might want to consider that even if you don't need them to enhance your weapons. If, you're, if your gear is all plus 70, you could still consider trading in for these just to sell, just to get some of up. And then also there's the photon chunks here that you could trade in for to unlock your potential on your weapons. It's always good being strong. And then as well also the arms refiner too here is something else that's a weekly trade. You can only get two of these now. And then up next we're going to go ahead and mention after leaving from here if you run up the stairs there's the alliance activity support NPC Tim right here. So Tim actually has some exchanges you can do here for alliance badges. And you can actually trade in for star gems here weekly as well. So definitely make sure that you do this, the weekly star gems. It's always a good thing to have. And then there's also some triggers here that might be worth some pretty good money on the player markets. You might want to just price check them before you trade in for them. You can either run them with your alliance mates or your friends or try to solo them, whatever. Or you can also just sell them on the player market and make yourself some Masada. And something worth mentioning is the Dark Balls triggers in particular actually make a lot of money. You can get a ratty souls as drops from Dark Balls. And uh, the Ratty Souls sell for a lot of money because the Ratty Souls used to make Gladial Soul, which is another endgame capsule. Okay, so last we're going to go ahead and mention going to base PSL2 for Casino Star Gems. Now, base PSL2 has to be downloaded separately from NGS. It's a separate DLC now, but it's free, so I would suggest having it because you can get a lot of weekly Star Gems from there, as well as some other useful items that you can use in NGS too. Uh, but the way that you get the base PSL2 is you can go to any Ryuker, and if you go to block transfer up at the very top, there's an option for transfer to a PSL2 block. So as well, whenever you're on the ship selection screen, once you go to character selection and you select your character, there's going to be an option here for base PSL2 as well. The top option is NGS and the middle option is base PSL2. So upon logging into base PSL2, it's going to put you right here in the arc ship lobby. And now if you turn around, you can go to this elevator right here to the shopping plaza. And then once you're inside of here, if you jump down and you turn around again, you'll be facing the entrance to the casino. So upon coming into the casino, if you run over to the left, there's a prize attendant Chip here. Now Chip at the has an exchange here for limited time prizes, and you can exchange in for casino star gems here. Now this trade is actually per ship as well, the, so if you have characters on all four ships, you can actually go and trade in on each individual ship's casino for these star gems, which affects your whole account. So it's actually a lot of extra star gems per month that you can get a hold of. Now, if you're unaware of how to get a hold of these casino coins to trade in for them, if it's your very first time in here, this NPC right here has some various tasks like spread around the casino that you can do and they'll give you some casino coin passes. And then once you have the casino coin passes, if you take them to this Vol Dragon machine right here, you can spin either one time or five times. We're gonna go ahead and spin it five times here. You can see I have a little stockpile of casino coin passes. And he'll spit out like a value of coins and uh, the lowest you're going to get is 100 per. Now sometimes if you're lucky he'll spit out more than that, uh, which is pretty nice, you get like a jackpot sort of. Now another way that you can get a hold of these casinos is going to be back in the base lobby again doing daily orders. And we'll go ahead and go there and show you that. So here we are back in the main arc ship lobby on base PSO2 again. If you run over to the left there's a daily order attendant here. Now the daily order attendant, if you clear a daily order, it actually gives you a casino coin pass. And you can see I have a lot of these just stocked up. Usually what I do is I go down here towards the bottom. And uh, a lot of the times some of these like harvesting orders and like fishing orders are like really, really easy to get hold of. And you can actually like cure like just thousands of this item. So after I've grabbed this one here, like you could also like go through this listing here. There's like collect orders. You could like make a support partner if you wanted to and you could send them out on these collect orders pretty low effort to get a hold of them or there's just like various like kill orders we can go kill a couple enemies or something sometimes there's some of these that are a little hard and some of them are like really really simple to do but some of the easiest ones i would suggest is just investing into gathering these items here so you can see this item here for example like this harvesting daybreak provenance string sprout what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn in one of these now see i have over 999 of this item right but i'm gonna adjust the value to one 
and I'm just going to turn in one of the items just to clear the daily order. And once I back out of here, you can see it's going to pop up that I've completed a daily order, which is going to give me five casino coin passes. Now the five casino coin passes is going to be a minimum of 500 casino coins, and it makes it really easy to trade in for those star gems that I talked about. Now you can actually do this daily order to get this casino pass reward per character that you have as well. So if you have multiple characters, you can just go turn in these like these gathering items on each individual one without having to go run quest or anything. It's really low effort star gems that you can get per month. It's uh, quite a bit of star gems. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for today. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, friends. See you on the next one.